Hey guys, so we're going to do a spirit talk. We're going to talk a little bit about manifestation. This is this is a big thing. Now, um, I do want to talk, there's there's just some things I want to kind of clear the air on. I know there's, there's a lot of spiritualists that talk about certain things like law of attraction, manifestation. They're a little bit different from each other, okay? Um, a little bit different. Um, but um, at the same time, so we're going to lean more on the manifestation. Though, of course, you know, there is the law of attraction, which is really kind of, you know, from, you know, Abraham and Esther Hicks, you know, where they got all that going on and teaching. And there's, there's some areas that, you know, people need to kind of work on. <laughs> you know, why, does, why do some people manifest awesome? And then other people really struggle with manifestation and have a hard time with it. And, you know, which which can be a challenge, just like I'm doing it, I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting, you know, it, it's just not happening. I'm trying, I'm trying and, and things, you know, like that, you know, and I know it, it, it can be a struggle and it's hard. So, um, but, you know, there's, there's some challenges, you know, in the spiritual community because um, especially, you know, of course, a lot of attraction, you know, that book has been out for years, but then the secret, you know, that, and that took off and all these spiritual teachers, you know, we're talking about things, you know, especially you could, if you think of it and everything, you can make it happen. You've got this divine within and, and all this just kind of, you know, connect with the universe, you know, and, and here comes, you know, money. Okay, see, this was one of the big problems really with The Secret. And, and, and there's a lot of critics, you know, of, you know, especially when The Secret, you know, became this kind of phenomenon. Because really, who was the main ones who got rich, you know, with it, with The Secret? Was the people who, you know, had a part in, in, in the book. So the, and there was a little movie um, and things like that. Really, that's what it came down to. You know, it, it became kind of this big market. Um, but, you know, they were, they were kind of feeding into... You know, people wanting money, money, money. Okay, you know, and um, th the challenge, you know, um, in the spiritual community when it comes to manifestation, what is what is one of the things as we start to awaken and become a spiritualist and, and start learning all these spiritual lessons? You know, one of the things we're trying to let go of, okay, is is attachments. You know, attachments to things. Okay, so this is this is a very different phenomenon, you know, and, and stuff that then what say the secret, you know, and even and even at times the law of attraction is, is kind of or at least I say, should say certain teachers of law of attraction are kind of messing with and stuff. And so, you know, um one of the things also, you know, we as spiritualists, we we want to be very careful with that. You know, as far as, you know, kind of letting go of, of certain, you know, attachments. You know, you know, because attachments to money it sometimes is not a healthy thing. But, but, you know, you uh, obviously, you know, at the same time, a spiritualist, you know, hopefully if they're a healthy spiritualist and everything does not want people to either be in a poverty mindset. Okay. Because, because one of the things also at the same time too, you know, is we're, we, we don't want people to suffer either. Okay, there is there is a lot of things about that. So obviously, you know, some kind of prosperity you got to have, you know, so you can alleviate suffering so you don't have to suffer. Like, obviously, if, if you can't afford a home, okay, or you have no job and, and you can't afford food, you know, it, it, that that's not good. Okay, so, you know, obviously, you know, work at, you know, get some good manifestation prayers, all those things, as well as action, which a lot of times the secret, you know, that book kind of was neglected. They were trying to make it real easy. If you just think, think, think about something, it'll happen. It, there's a lot more to it than that. Okay. And so, but we do want to kind of let go of certain attachments and everything, you know, that, that are kind of, fed, you know, they're part, you know, kind of part of the collective, you know, like for instance, you know, like I say the American dream, you know, for example, that's a big thing, you know, try to be sold, you know, the house and the big job and the, you know, all, all that stuff, you know, try to, try to really look at, but what, what is spirit's plan for me? Okay. It is what we really want to, you know, kind of talk about here, you know, before I came here, what's really the plan and everything like that. But yes, to be able to be, you know, comfortable and everything like that and be able to take care of ourselves, to feed ourselves, you know, all that stuff. Of course, of course. And spirit will provide that. Believe it or not, spirit will provide and stuff. 
but we want to have, you know, all, you know, everything that we've got, you know, in alignment, you know, to be able to have, you know, certain things. And so when I kind of talk about manifestation, say in my readings, you know, with kind of given tips, I'm going to do it a little bit different. Now, I was kind of searching the internet because I wanted, I was like, I, I want to kind of have, you know, a good spiritual, you know, spiritualist, you know, that's pretty in alignment with what I have to say. And then I'm going to start talking, um, kind of, kind of speak to you guys. And I, I was kind of, I listened to a little bit of Eckhart Tolle and he almost put me to sleep. You know, I love the man. I love the power now and I love the new earth book. Okay. It, it's all, it's all good, but he was putting me to sleep and I'm like, I, I just know I, I want to be excited about this. If I'm going to talk about this topic, I love him, but you know, he's, he's very in the here and now and, and he's, you know, and, and everything just, he's a very mellow peaceful. Well, I'm glad he's found his peace and he's helped a lot of people along the way. Let me get a sip here. But then I found it, it's just like about a four minute clip um, of an interview with Oprah and Dr. Wayne Dyer, who I love. And I know many of you know who he is. And um, he just, he, he's a very good soul, you know, very good spirit. And he gave us so many lessons and even wrote a book, The Power of Intention, one of his many books, which um, is, is in alignment, certain lessons he actually learned from Carlos Castaneda, um, which, which is a big part of my path. I've read, you know, pretty, I, I think I've read all the books, um, you know, that Carlos Castaneda wrote about the teachings of Don Juan, intent. Intent is a huge part of my path. Okay, setting intent, you know, focusing, you know, all that and stuff. So he wrote a big book about that. So he knows quite a bit about manifestation and things like that. Intent is a big thing. Okay, so, but let me go to the clip here. I, I found it very good. I like what he says. He kind of differentiates a little bit with manifestation, law of attraction, and and it's just go ahead and listen to it. A couple things I might tweak what Wayne Dyer said, which I will talk about. Okay, and so and remember, manifestation is not only money, of course, or things. Manifestation is you can manifest love, for example. Okay, there's there are lots of things you can manifest. So let me go ahead and find the article, or I mean the article itself. Let me find the video. Here it is. Let me pull it up for you guys. I'm going to do it on my volume up. Get that there. Mastering the art of manifestation. How is that different from the law of attraction? It's very, very Sorry for the glare, guys. There we go. Um, the law of attraction, and I'm not. And I'm not here to put down the law of attraction. I think it's. I think. I, what, the, the, I think the law of attraction and the secret open people up to a right. new way of thinking. Absolutely. It had its flaws because right. it uh, allowed some people to think that all you had to do is think about a bicycle yeah. and there it would show right. up. Yeah. And the key word that you use in here over and over and over again in every chapter is that in order to attract or manifest anything, you have to be in alignment with your source, with your with source. source, with God. With you God. Have to, you just, it's you, about you have to stay connected to the ocean. That's right. You, have to stay you can't just sit around and wish yeah. for stuff. Or... So the basic thing that Neville taught me, and a lot of this is from the teachings of Neville, mm -hmm. uh, Neville Goddard, who died in the 1970s. He, he, he basically said that um, all of us have within us this amazing capacity to manifest and attract anything that we want into our life. So how we call it, what, what words that we use, we have to be able to say, um, you know, in the secret they say, you, you get what you want, you know, and what is missing. And what Neville said and what, uh, what has come to me and what I got from the I Am Discourses and what I get from the New Testament, which I read before I did this, is that you, you say, I will attract into my life what I am, not what I want. And I am capable of attracting all things that, that, that the source is, is capable of attracting. So that's the difference. It's like you get what you are rather than what you want. So you want to become. You can't go around and ask these divine beings, you know, angels, whatever you want to call them. Who are say, right here all the time. You, right can't, you can't right ask here, right them here. to help me out. You have to, you have to become like they are. That when you when you become angelic, when you become a divine being yourself, when you are giving, when you are serving, when you are in that place, they will come to you. That's what happened to you in India. You mm -hmm. then begin to see yourself in everything. You know, it's like, because it is our goal to reflect the character right. of God. That's right. what we're here exactly. to do: is to emulate that. But that's what the Tao Te Ching teaches as well. Yes. They call it your original nature. Your original nature is reverence for all of life gentleness, kindness, and service towards others. That's Lao Tzu, 
500 years before the birth of Christ, saying that's our original nature. Yes. Reverence for all of life, gentleness, kindness, service towards others, giving, offering, serving. And when you get to that place where you no longer have any judgment within you towards any of God's children, that means no condemnation, no criticism, no judgment towards anyone, even the Osama bin Laden. But how even... can we be that since it's we're hard. here, but we're what? living, we're on earth, we got problems, yeah, we got our issues, we have stuff going on. And if enough of us get this message over, yes. if enough of us get on, that's just what my mission is, it's just to teach people that you are love, you are divine. Put that into your imagination. I am I am well. I am happy. I am content. I am fulfilled. Even if your senses tell you that you're depressed. One of your people that called me when we did a pre-interview on here said, well, if, I, if I'm feeling depressed, I'm supposed to fool myself and say I am feeling well even you if I'm depressed? You can't choose another thought. That's yeah, what I've learned. Absolutely. And it's like you, you don't say I am depressed because if you say I am depressed, you connect with depression. And the universal source, God, whatever you want to call it, will align in such a way to offer you whatever it is. What depression? Put, yeah, here's some more depression. I am unhappy. I am depressed. I'm going to tweet that. So by placing into your imagination imagination what you want and assuming the feeling of that wish is already fulfilled you go through your life feeling that when enough of us do that we will we will transform this planet i'm telling you it, it can be done we're doing and, it right now absolutely us sitting here right here together it's all part of this perfection there so you see so just a little thing i'm going to tweak not to try to not to try to uh, criticize the great Dr. Wayne Dyer. Hey, stop it. it just the, the only little thing is, you know, that that source would give you more depression. I, I, I know what he's trying to say. Um, but, you know, um, I, I don't think that would necessarily happen. But he is absolutely right. You know, the words powerful, the way we think, we think about ourselves, and things we say, have so much power words, so much power. And even like what when I will talk about the magician card, which is about manifestation. Number one, the number one card, right, is what it is. In the beginning, there was the word, right? We know the power of the word, even if I look into the good old scriptures. You know, in the beginning, there was the word, words, God, you know, all that spoken, let there be light, power, power in the word. Okay, so a lot of it, especially our self-talk, is very, very powerful, what we say you know, about ourselves, the story we tell about ourselves. So I understand what he's saying. Absolutely. If I just look at that, even that manifest, you know, if I'm, if I'm focused on that, I'm depressed and everything, but you know, and maybe you're not ready to say, you know, uh, you know, completely, I am well, you know, I am happy, you know, you know, of course I can understand that if anybody is having a real hard time with depression, maybe somebody just passed, maybe you suffered some, something very traumatic, you know, but, but one of the things you can, if you're not ready to say that, and it almost feels like it's hard to, to do, you know, I, I am healing. I will be well. I am getting there. I am getting better every day. There are certain things you can say However, when, when we're kind of going into this kind of depression mode and stuff, that, that we can kind of tell ourselves different things. So, but manifestation, um, notice he kind of talked a little, there's a little difference with law of attraction, like what we kind of, kind of attract, but also what we manifest. Manifest is a little bit more creative, except where the law of attraction has to do with attracting Okay, a certain kind of energy, you know, and, and there's, a, of course, there's a lot of like attracts like. Now, it's not the only law. I know opposites can attract. <laughs> you know, we, we know that. We, we know that can happen as well. But, you know, and, and we also, a lot of times in the spiritual community, also talk about, you know, vibrating at a certain point. And that's what he's also kind of talking about, though he didn't necessarily use the word vibration, you know, but also one of the things he was saying, kind of like becoming, you know, source, you know, you know in alignment. But that was a big one. What what he said, and that's right what he said, you know, being in alignment, you know, for manifestation to work. This is something I talk about constantly. And there are times that say manifestation kind of fizzles because something's not in alignment with source. Okay, something's not in alignment with source of spirit. Now, even when I say, you know, is it God's source? Yes, that. Um, higher self source? Yes, that too. My soul? Yes, that too. Okay, there needs to be there needs to be a good alignment 
with everything. And if something, if I'm trying to manifest something that, you know, maybe is in opposition, okay, with with it, you know, kind of part of the plan, you could say, you know, for, for my own growth, or I'm trying to manifest something that would actually bring me down versus raise me up in vibration, you know, that, then certain things can fizzle out or, or maybe I will manifest it, but it's not going to work out. Okay. Maybe it's not going to make me happy. So that's, but when we're in nice alignment, so, and this is one of the things a spiritualist wants to, you know, am, am I in alignment? Am I in alignment with source? Am I in alignment with spirit? And everything is, is everything kind of nice, you know, connected, you know, I've got, you know, source, God, spirit, however you define I know everybody has kind of what they plug into. They have their own definition. That's totally okay. Higher self, if you have that as well. My soul is this all like an alignment, like the magician card, as above, so below. Okay, as above, so below. Notice, you know, kind of an alignment. See, the magician knows there is an alignment that needs to take place. And that's one of their declarations, even in that card. And then they've got the aces on the table, the ability to create and manifest. Let me take a sip here. We're going to talk a lot. So that's one of the big things. You know, the secrets. We want to be in alignment. Okay, or else certain things, I, I could possibly manifest that, but it's it, it may, you know, kind of go down. Okay, and, and not work for me. And, you know, maybe, maybe Source is like, you know what? The only way she's going to know that that ain't going to work is if I give it. Okay, and then, oh, it ain't working out. So, but when everything is nice, in an alignment and we set our intention then things can be magical wonderful okay and they can really work now another thing i want to talk about this is one of the important things itself which I, i'm trying to more and more try to work with people to break down and this is where some of these other you know i know they're supposed to be spiritual teachers trying to teach things like save the law of attraction or manifestation, even, you know, like I said, they're a little different. The manifestation is really the creative, you know, kind of creating, okay, where the law of attraction is attracting and attracting energy. But we, you know, people will still do a little bit of both, you know. But one of the problems, that, that the reason why, you know, um, you know, these things sometimes are not working out the way people would want or hope, okay, is that what they're asking for is not really what, you know, they want, need, desire, however you really want to put it. I know those are very different terms, but I, so I'm going to leave it open for whatever that may be. Okay. For, you know, for who, whoever is watching. For example, um, the person, you know, if they're very money focused, money centered, okay. I need money, <laughs> you know, and stuff. And, and they're doing all that matter. And they get that green candle and, and and yes, we do need money. This is part of it, okay, if we're going to manifest certain things and so forth. Um, but if the focus is on the dollars solely, okay, and then, and then it's going to be a problem. Then it's going to be a problem. So one of the things I, I try to do is I'm trying to teach, you know, help people with manifestation. And stuff. okay, so let's stop for a minute. Okay, you're, you're wanting to manifest some dollars. What do you want the money for? Okay, so the, and that's where it's real important for the person to understand, you know, at the core, the core, what they're trying to manifest for themselves. So say we kind of strip it down, you know, say, you know, well, you know, I really want to get my kids a home. You know, I, I've been living in apartments for years and years and I want to really manifest a home. Okay, okay, so then, you know, maybe it's not necessarily just about the dollars, you know, the money, the cash. Okay, so certain things, I want to get that home and stuff. So what what is kind of my obstacles, you know, to getting there? Okay, so what are the things I would kind of look at? Okay, what about your job? Is it is it enough that realistically you can achieve that home? And so, so maybe that person, you know, maybe their, their income is too low, you know, to maybe qualify for a mortgage to get the home or things like that. So then we know, okay, so I want a home. Here we go, right? So now maybe what I also need to do is manifest, you know, some kind of employment, you know, to be able to get that home. So I could have this good home, family, and, and, and things like that, get it all together. 
So that's that's one thing. So so instead of just focusing on dollars necessarily, and stuff, I I've got okay. So you know a job, and now you know kind of uncover. Well, what do you want to do? Okay, now I'm trying to get in alignment with spirit. So now I'm going to really, okay, so one of the things I want to do is connect with source. What is something that source of spirit would want me to be doing? You know, um, you know, some kind of way of giving of service, being of service, helping other people, you know, and then we could kind of, you know, narrow that in, you know, to be able to align with source and spirit, you know, and stuff. Some, some way that also is the betterment maybe of society or community or something, some way of helping others. Okay, so that, and then we kind of work on manifesting that and everything. So, now we kind of go into this area. Okay, now I'm kind of setting my intentions. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm in alignment with source, spirit. You know, spirit, I, I feel really wants me to help in this area, that area, whatever it may be. Here we go. And send that energy and stuff. And then, if all goes well, we're able to land that jewel. <laughs> okay, you know, kind of work for it. And then start getting ready, qualify for that home and have certain things happen, okay? But th that is one of the things is what we're focusing on. Sometimes that bullseye, what people are aiming toward, is not, it's not in alignment, and that's why it misfires. And sometimes people don't know really what they're asking for, you know, and, and, and things. So I, I try to, like, what do you really want here? And so just like, for example... You know, say somebody wants to manifest job. Oh, I got a lot of debt. I got bills. You know, I need a job. <laughs> is that so? What things? Okay. So, what kind of job do you feel is in alignment with spirit? And what is something you would really like to do? And so, that's what things we want to kind of put those things together. You know, and focus intent. You know, to be able to do that. You know, obviously, want somebody that pays my bills. Okay, of course. But also, maybe some way. What is a way I could be of service? you know, in some ways, it, be of service of others, you know, to be able to help them, you know, in some way. So it, when we kind of put that together and so forth, then that kind of sends this signal to universe and everything to be able to receive. And then, you know, okay, now put out those resumes. Here they come. Here they come. Here comes that interview, all that. Okay. So that's what especially you don't want to focus. But also one of the things, you know, it, it, sometimes you start uncovering, you know, I just want to be happy. Okay, so what kind of things make you happy? We well, you know what 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 really makes you gives you joy, you know. And so everybody everybody has something a little bit different, you know, that makes them happy and so forth. Now another thing, obviously, manifesting love. Manifesting love is another thing that a lot of times I will talk about as well. You know, we and this is this is a big one. You know, sometimes people, you know, they want to manifest love. But they don't always know exactly what kind of a partner is good for them. So, some, okay, here comes here comes somebody shows up, you know, and, and want to manifest love. But is it is it the right kind of relationship? So that's where you know I, I I will tell people, you know, and I've told many times, and I've seen this happen many times successfully. And maybe somebody watching this video may have done this before themselves. Is you know kind of write a list of what characteristics you want in your next partner. Okay, write your list. That is one way. Another thing um, to kind of summon the soulmate, and actually in one of my decks, I do have that kind of calling on your soulmate energy, you know, to be able to manifest, you know, to bring them, you know, into reality to be able to meet them. Um, but another thing also, writing love letters to your soulmate. Kind of like writing to them as if they're they're here, you know, that you're you're kind of sending them a message, you know, and kind of sending it to the universe to kind of draw them into your life. And so and remember, this is different than a love spell. <laughs> okay, manifesting love is one thing. This is not the same as a love spell that that's the person I want to fall in love with me. That's a completely different thing. That's a no, no, we don't do that. But manifesting love to kind of open, to bring forth your soulmate, you know, certain qualities, characteristics. Okay, that are, you know, in alignment and everything, and then kind of send it to the universe in your own way. Many ways you could take your list, kind of sit it there, maybe on a full moon night and stuff, get, you know, a love candle, either red, pink, you know, however you want to do that. Maybe another white for purity of intention and kind of send that to the universe. I have known people that have written those lists, you know, maybe they folded them up, put them in their purse, put it somewhere safe, put it under their pillow 
and they were able to manifest their partner who met, you know, uh, at least most of the qualities of that list. Okay, so there are ways that we can do that to set intention. But one of the things, especially why I like to talk about manifestation, is to let people know you are not powerless. This is, this is one of the big things, you know, we spiritualists, you know, and it is a no witchcraft, okay, which I'm not passionate, don't get me wrong, but that's not what it is. You know, we're working with source, spirit, and in alignment, and it is a real thing, and you can do that. But the problem, you know, with it, of course, is, is there are spiritualists who try to, you know, sell people, you know, a, you know, a, a certain way of it. You know, which which can also kind of feed a greedy mindset, and and it's um you know I'm not saying it doesn't it doesn't work, but it it won't necessarily make necessarily make you happy. You know, especially maybe you know um you know million millions and millions and millions of dollars is not in alignment with source spirit or your plan, which, which I know you know people are like, but that would be great. I wouldn't have to worry about anything, not necessarily. Because people who have, you know, that kind of money do have another kind of uh, set of problems, you know, with that, that maybe other people don't have. You know, for one thing, it can attract a lot of fake people, you know, around them, uh, fake people that are always kind of around them, that they're not trustworthy. You know, there, there's all kinds of things and drama, you know, that can happen. Though, yes, of course, if managed well, it could, it, it could be, it could do very well. And I'm not, you know, against it, do not get me wrong. But if, if this, the source is only, you know, to be rich and to be, you know, and, and all that, that's kind of feeding into what really the man wants you to be kind of hooked on and everything. It doesn't, it's not necessarily going to make you happy. There are a lot of people you know, that have a lot of money that are not necessarily happy people. You know, some of them are very depressed, you know, very sad. Like I said, they have a lot of people around them that are fake. You know, or say, it, it, you know, if they want to go out and date and want to find a love partner, they're always going to have to weed out, does this person really love me or do they love my money? You know, there, there's a whole set of problems that these people have. So don't necessarily think they've got it made just because they got a lot of money. OK, you know, and um, so that's, you know, one of the things that, you know, you just want to be careful with. Be careful what you wish for. Just like the saying, you know, that is very true. But, you know, I understand totally that people, you know, they want to be able to be comfortable, pay their bills. Just like I said, you know, they may want a home, you know, family, be able to take care of. Maybe I want to send my kids to college, you know, whatever it may be and work on that manifestation. And of course, on one end, it's going to take a lot of hard work. You know, and this is where the secret the secret was, you know, just like Oprah was kind of expressing, you know, kind of going wrong. Just think of something and, and it happens, you know, and, and, and um, you know, what they were kind of teaching is, well, if it's not happening for you, you must not be doing it right. You're not, you're not, you know, thinking hard enough. You're doubting yourself too much. And so that kind of puts the burden on them you know, that, that they're doing it wrong. It, it isn't that people are doing it wrong. It's that you're teaching it wrong, secret people. Okay, you're teaching it wrong and, and, and things like that. You know, they're, they're, but there's still some helpful, just like Dr. Warren Dyer said, there's still some helpful things. You know, it, it, it ain't true, you're wrong. I should say it ain't wrong, not it ain't true. Um, it ain't wrong that, you know, thoughts can create reality, create your world. That's from Buddha, you know, and everything, just how powerful that is you know, the way we can manifest as certain things, you know, a certain vibration can attract certain things to you. You know, just like when you're kind of sending out a loving vibe and you're trying to embody that, you, you can attract certain people that are like you, you know, that are, you know, in alignment with spirit and are loving, good, kind people. You know, you can do that as well. And I'm sure you would want to do that. I Just like the person with a million dollars may have some trouble attracting, you know, real authentic friends, you know, that really do care about them, you know, and, and things like that. So that's what, you know, you want to be able to do and everything. But I, I love what he was saying, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, becoming that source, you know, by, by kind of embodying that, you know, remember that divine is within. And he was very big on that very big on his teachings about how that divine is within all of us, you know, all of us. And it, it's just like, you know, there are many people, you know, who are, you know, uh, don't want you to recognize your own personal power, your own divinity, that you have that light within you. 
And that, that is definitely a big message that I'm trying to get out there. You know, and, and there, you know, other, you know, I know the Christians will be like, what divinity within you, God within, oh my God, Jesus said it in the Bible. Ye are gods. Okay. It's all oh, he said it and everything. And that's what he was also, even he was trying to teach. And as other people were like, what? We are gods. And he was trying to say, you know, it's in the scriptures. You know, when if the scripture can't be broken, I'm telling you the truth, you know, and everything. I'm the son of God. You are gods. We are gods. That's what the Bible says. And everything. Trying to understand that everybody has that divine spark within. So if you've got the divine spark, you have personal power. And it's just a matter of tapping into it. But yes, the key is to be in alignment. You got to be in alignment. If you're out of alignment, you know, either it ain't going to manifest or you're going to bring something in or create something that that is, is it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> it's just going to be a disaster. That's why, like I was saying, say, you know, I, I try to, I, I need a job, you know, and stuff. Okay, you know, the, well, any kind of thing can fall into your lap. And stuff, but what do you really want? What What is your heart's desire here? And is it in alignment with source and spirit? Okay, that's what you want to do. And once you kind of get that in there and then, okay, now I got it. Now I'll set your intention. Send it. Send it to the universe. Now, how do I speak it, you know, or write it? However, you know, you can write it or say it out loud. And one of the things, you know, also the way we speak it and everything, the way we speak it is so important. One of the things I've been trying to teach people also with manifestation, try not to say things like I need, I need kind of, it, it, it's not necessarily bad and it's not wrong. Okay. But also it can come from a place of lack. Okay, like something is missing. You know, one of the things we're, we're, we want to try to do is kind of, you know, really nothing is, is really missing. As a matter of fact, I have all the creative within me. I've got this creator ability within me. Nothing is missing. I just got to bring it into existence. You know, that which I need to bring. Okay, so if I was saying I need, it's like something is missing. I'm like, no, I just need to bring it into existence. Okay, so I may say, I allow. I allow is one of my favorites. I allow. I'm open the door to receive. You know, so whatever, you know, you know, get a little specific. You know, if, if there is like, for instance, for employment, you know, or you're want, you know, you want to start a business and you want it to be successful. Say you've got the point. Okay, this is my business. I'm going to start. Okay, good. And so, so, you know, allow the abundance to be able to continue my business. You know, I allow, you know, people to be able to receive, you know, that which I have to offer for the betterment of, you know, good or whatever, you know, however you want to word it and everything I am open to receive. And also don't forget to thank the spirit or source in advance. That is another thing. Even before it's happened, you haven't got it yet, right? But you thank spirit source in advance for that which you're about to receive. Just like if I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to do my love. I want to manifest love. Okay, you know, I've got, you know, I've got my list here. Okay, I got my list. This is, this is going to be my person. This is going to be my soulmate. I've written letters to my soulmate. Okay, I'm going to slap them up here. I've got my candles burning and stuff. You know, I, you know, I open the door to receive love, you know, to receive my soulmate. They are already here. Thank you, Source Spirits, for guiding my soulmate to me. You know, this loving spirit that I will also return with love as well however you want to word it but also opening the door I allow thank you thank you for this meeting that we've had that I'm able to connect with my soulmate in the here and now in this lifetime forevermore thank you amen however however so see there's now it's, it is so it is so mode it be <laughs> just like the Wiccan say so mode it be Okay, that's how we want to do it. Okay, which which I know a little bit of magical, but really all the creative, the divine is within you to be able to do all these things. I know, I, I know maybe I'm making it sound easy. Maybe I'm making it sound easy. Well, it, it you don't have to make it difficult. You don't have to make it difficult. You can manifest. Okay, you can ha manifest. You have the ability to do that. But remember, just like I was saying, you got to know what you're asking for. And that's where people go wrong. I need money. I need money. I'm broke. <laughs> you know, hey, there's always going to be a bill. No, I, and, and, you know, I mean, we can manifest all we want. There's always going to be a bill. You know, there, there's always a, there's always going to be something you have to pay for. 
and everything. It, it's just the way it is. It, it's the way it is. You know, so we want to be kind of realistic. You know, I know there's always going to be a bill, but I still want to pay this off. I want to, <laughs> you know, whatever it may be. Let's pull, I, I do have a, a deck though, and it does deal with a little bit with money and finances. It's a new little deck I got, and I think it might be actually a Doreen Virtue deck. I can't remember. So what, what was it? Hold on. I know the deck is here. I still like her decks. And it even, it, it's even still got her name on it. Yep, Doreen and actually Grant Virtue. Oh, do I have a card stuck in here? Oh, I do have a card stuck in here. I, I didn't have that one out there. And so, but yeah, I still, I just, a little guy, I just got this one. But this, this is some good things, abundance, just about money. And we'll just kind of read a few of them. It's, it's got some good stuff. Got some good stuff in here. Oh, it's too bad we lost to virtue to the, the radical, <laughs> the radical right. It's such a shame. It's up. So focus on your priorities. This is one. I got this for a few people that I read for today. Where you put your focus, there you go, is where you receive your outcome. It's very simple. That, you know, so I'm going to focus. Everything is focus, intention, intention. And your priorities are calling you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety, unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So, it, it, see, that's, you know, a lot of times people get fear and anxiety can come up, especially, you know, say, you know, I've only got so much in the bank account and I got this bill and what am I going to do? And then that fear and anxiety. So we got to kind of face the fear head on and everything, you know, and, and, and work on that manifestation, you know, and, and I'm a pretty, I, I've even helped manifest for others. Um, I did have a young girl uh, come to me about what was about a month ago, you know, in the group. I'm not sure if I mentioned this on YouTube, uh, but anybody who watches the group may remember. Um, uh, but she she had come to me, um, or actually she came in the group. That's what she did first. First she came to the group, but she was she only really asked for kind of prayers and maybe a reading. You know, she was worried because she had a a big bill, a big utility bill, um, that you know everything was going to get shut off. Everything was going to get shut off. And, you know, so I totally believed her and everything. She didn't ask us for any kind of money or anything like that. I said, but she was definitely asking for prayers and help. And so, but I'm a manifester. <laughs> I'm a manifester. Okay. And I definitely wanted this, this little one to get help. So I told her to PM me. So I kind of talked to her about it. I said, what's, you know, because I asked her, what city and state are you in? And, and so I was, I was at work at the time, but I was tapping. I'm on Google, Google, look at her state and everything. And then I found a number. I said, I, I feel good about this. Try this. Gave her a number to call. And so, so the cool thing about it is that number actually, um, whoever she spoke to connected her to a church, a good church. There are good churches out there. Um, the bill was like $700. They actually footed her $500 of the bill and stuff. So I'm like, good, good. There I am manifest and manifest. All right. I was able to connect, you know, cause I, I felt I'm like, we can do this. I'm just mm, set intent. I want this bill paid for this because she's got like three children you know and so anyway and then um then she came to me about a few days later and she thanked me she's like you know um you know the people you know they got me connected to a church they paid 500 i only need about 200 but today's the shut off day but thank you for trying thank you for everything so like i said she didn't ask me for anything or anything like that but she definitely did ask spirit for help right so i'm like hang on you know do you have a paypal this that I did a post in the group and just, you know, I donated myself, asked people, can you donate? We only need to raise, you know, this much. Within 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, we, we raised enough for her to pay her bill that day. Okay, I'm a good manifester. <laughs> what I said in 10 for something to happen. So it, it worked out, you know, everybody was, and of course, everybody was very generous and, and really, you know, and that's through source spirit, you know, helping this person. But of course, I said, thank the spirit. Don't forget to thank you know, thank sorts for that. Really, that's really where it came from. And so, so really, you know, if you set intent, say you're struggling, you got that, oh my God, what am I going to do? You would be surprised, you know, what can be done. But just like, you know, what you kind of came with the group, I'm like, we could fix that. I know we could fix that. We, we could get it so the utilities don't get shut off on those kids and everything. It can be done. And I know it, it, a little bit of Googling, but it also, I set intent. We're going to find something and we're going to fix this problem. Myself, it can can be done. You just gotta, mm -mm. and of course it was in alignment with spirit because spirit wants kids to have electricity, water, and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's look at another card. So I've got the card "Let Go of Guilt." Ooh, that's a good one. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. 
forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So sometimes there can be people that maybe feel guilty or bad about themselves that maybe they don't deserve good things. You know, maybe they don't deserve to be happy. Um, you know, they may be down on themselves. There, there is kind of a mindset. You know, uh, you know, just whatever reason they don't, they don't love themselves because maybe they were treated poorly at these. So they, they kind of feel maybe spirit doesn't care about me, or you know, I'm not lovable, or I don't deserve things and stuff like that. So letting go of any kind of whatever it may be, you know, and stuff, release, release, release is so important and stuff. And just let that, that light shine. Everybody's got a light within. And then there is also, I like this, attracting, not chasing. That's a good message too. Like also, you know, I want to attract good things, whether it's, you know, abundance, whatever it may be, you know, or even love. You know, and this is a good one for love because when we talk about say twin flames, you know, sometimes people get on that chase, chase, chase energy and that's what makes them run. And stuff that people could get a little afraid. Is she obsessed with me? What the hell? I'm out of here. You know, that kind of thing. And stuff. So just kind of have that energy, you know, of attracting, but not necessarily chasing after something. Because what, what this kind of saying is when you kind of chase, chase and it, it, something runs from you. That's, that's not bad advice. That's pretty good. But I've also got the card, Quiet Retreat. Time to disconnect from outer world that you can discern and process true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. So a lot of, we got to go in our inner world. That is, you know, what, you know, a certain thing is the outer world that is, can distract. You know, we got to get to a place of peace if we're going to do any kind of manifest, um, manifesting, get clarity and stuff is another thing. And then I've also got the card Windfall of Abundance. I love this. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Notice it says many different forms. Not all abundance is monetary. So many people have got you and trying to get me and other spiritualists fixed on that kind of abundance. Abundance can come in many different forms. You know, some of them have been expected. Be open to receiving and knowing this, this abundance comes to you with the support of your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Also, like manifesting good health. Yes. Manifesting joy versus depression. Like I said, I, I would just want to tweak just a little bit of way Dyer said. Source is not going to send you more depression. I know what he's trying to say. He's not 100% wrong there. But, you know, spirit is, is, okay, I'll just make you more depressed, you know, and stuff. But certain, like, energies and so forth can, can feed into depression if we stay locked in that. So we want to we wanna try to shift mindset. And a lot of that, you know, changing the way we talk to ourselves, about ourselves, and think, you know, and, and everything, it, you know, it's a big thing. I've also got the card Successful Funding. Your idea, like, you know, say you have an idea and you want to put something into it. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. So sometimes say an idea comes to you. An idea, you know, comes to you and it's just, you know, you know maybe maybe you want to really help people. You want to do something very positive and it, it's just, you know, it's like spark, spark. And, and maybe it doesn't let go, especially if you have something that doesn't let go. You know, and it's like, you know, I felt, you know, I want to really help people. I want to kind of do this, you know, whatever it is, whatever that, that dream is, everything starts with an idea. And that's what it makes things kind of, you know, and it comes in the imagination and you start to like kind of visualize yourself doing whatever it may be. But if it really doesn't let go, it could be source spirit, especially wanting you to do more with that. Like, okay, here comes this idea. Here it comes. And stuff. So now what are you going to do with it? You know, and, and with, you know, you, then you start maybe getting signs and everything all kind of popping up, you know, that they want you, you know, to go into that. It could be maybe you're starting your own business. Maybe you're going back to school, you know, going in a certain direction, helping people you never thought of doing. But all of a sudden, it's just kind of taking hold. You know, don't have it let go. You know, that's a big thing and stuff, you know, and just kind of go with and pursue. That's how dreams are born. You know, that's how they are. You know, something maybe inspires. Have courage to ask and accept help. Absolutely. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. That is so true. Just like even, you know, with this little one, you know, I, I'm sure that, that came into the group. I'm sure she went to spirit. 
I'm sure, sure, sure she did. Okay, of course, and then kind of, if she could get a reading, you know, what, you know, and everything, please pray for me. You know, she did, definitely did that. Here we go. Okay. And very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others that you are guided. So that's one of the big things. And let's kind of go ahead and see if there's any other ones. All that. But yes, do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. I'm so glad this card is in there. You've also got to take positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. This is where the secret falls flat. Okay? That's where it falls flat. And then years later, they start saying, oh yeah, you got to do the work. Thank you for telling me that after I bought the book, right? You know, I said, consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lust garden. Of course, you got to do the work and stuff. Just like, it, I like that garden. You plant a seed and then you're going to kind of nurture it and everything. You kind of set your attention. Maybe you pray to source, you know, for a great harvest. Absolutely. And stuff. And, and just keep working, working, and it'll happen. But yes, you got to do the work. And see, I, I love this deck because it... Oh, Luzador Reed Virtue was sad. You know, she she put out some good stuff, guys. She did. And that's why, you know, I don't want to beat the woman up too hard, you know, because she went to the other side. I understand the power of indoctrination and things like that. And I hope I hope eventually she gets some kind of balance in there somewhere. But she gave us some good stuff. But yes, you've got to do the work. So that that is one of the big things. So I, I'm hoping this gives you a little bit idea of what I'm saying. Like I said, think alignment is what I'm asking for alignment. Do I have pure intention? Also try to kind of embody, you know, source spirit. Visualize everything lining up. Hear me, however you do it, but this is kind of what I do. Here's me, higher self, source spirit. Are we all in alignment and in tune? Okay, now I'm going to set my intentions, you know, and everything. And of course, I follow it up with work. You know, what actions do I need to take to also kind of follow up here? You know, to have things manifest. And stuff, and it, it works out and everything. But at the same time, just be careful. Try not to fall into, you know, the, like the greedy mindset, you know, that others can be. I know it's, you know, it's all prosperity, prosperity and stuff. You know, prosperity is totally fine. I don't want you eat, also to swing to a poverty mindset either, though. You don't have to, you know, you, you don't have to take a vow of poverty in this lifetime to be a spiritualist. I know there are those Buddhists that will, and that's totally fine, um, you know, for them, if that is what they want to do. I understand their intent, why they do. That is a very extreme response to, you know, a problem that is in society. But also, you know, we, we don't want to, we don't have to necessarily do the poverty mindset, okay? Myself, but somewhere kind of in the middle. You know, somewhere in the middle, you know, just, you know, that certain basic needs, you know, at least are taken care of, you know, so, you know, maybe I don't have to experience, you know, a certain extreme suffering, you know, like say, oh my God, I need surgery, you know, and kind of set intent, you know, hopefully that insurance will cover it and it won't, you know, you know, all that, all that stuff, you know, kind of, you know, divine source spirit, all that stuff, you know, and everything, you know, that they, that will all be taken care of. I, you know, allowed to receive, you know, various things like that. You know, we want to kind of send those things to the universe, but even health, you know, that are well, like maybe there's something kind of going on. You haven't been feeling right. You know, I allow to receive health, wellness, healing, make it so, so mode it be, however you want to say it. And therefore it is. Okay. Um, also health is very, you know, important thing and stuff, but just, just be very careful with that. Be careful with all those, you know, like I said, the, the kind of get rich quick kind of attitude of the law of attraction and really know what you're asking for. You know, what, what really would make you happy when you really think about it, you know, at its core, like say, if you are just kind of, you talked a little bit, you know, if you're battling with depression, obviously to be free of depression and to be able to know joy and happiness. So one of the things you would definitely want to manifest healing. Okay. And try to manifest also joy and happiness, you know, healing mind and everything. And also, you know, that you could have a changed mindset, you know, and, and I am, and I, I want to be careful in this because I don't want people to go, but I do, I, I do believe even certain mental disorders can be healed with source spirit. Um, but I also, um, you know, want to be very careful in the sense that also see doctors, if they say take meds, you know, do certain things. Okay. But, but in combination, don't forget source spirit in adding that to the equation so you can heal 
and so you want you want it if you could put them together would be a really good thing okay if, if we could put it all together but people can heal from them i do believe they can um you know, I know definitely I was able, I've talked about a little bit about my story. You guys have seen that. I feel I was able to heal myself, you know, and get to a good place of peace, you know, especially, you know, with mindset. Like I said, when I talked about my breakdown story, I was very real with you guys, you know, kind of some things I went through. But, you know, I got to a place of healing, but I had to do the work, the work. And I learned we can rewire the mind and we can change the way it thinks. You know, you can change the way you think about yourself, you know, and also the way you think about the world. You have personal power. You have divinity within you. And, that, and that's what makes it. I know sometimes if I, if I say that to you, you'll be like, I, I feel like just a mortal human. Well, no, you're, you're supposed to feel that too. We came to have a human experience. But also, you were also came here also to awaken and remember yourself. Okay. You, you, I, I, I've come here also to remember myself. Wake up. Remember who I am. And everything at the core, you know, that divine being at the core. That's one of the big things you're meant to do. I see this is another reason why, you know, spirit source, God source, you know, want you also to, you know, even use that divinity, um, use that personal power so you know that you are that. That will be your evidence that you are a divine being. And um, I was just thinking about what, uh, just even um, one of my friends who passed, you know, Della, God bless her. Um, she, I remember she was talking about, she wrote a story, you know, just, just like even kind of manifesting. She, she would do, you know, things just to kind of test herself, see if she could do it. And um, one, one of the days she was just like, you know, I'm going to manifest a red, red hearse, which I know would seem like a crazy, that's a crazy thing to manifest, right? And, I, and by the way, I totally believe her. She was good at this stuff. And I've done weird stuff like this myself. But um, she she just kind of really focused, set intent, everything. I want to see, visualizing, visualizing red hearse. Um, she came close. She ended up seeing a hearse that day. And in the license plate, it had the word red in it. And stuff. So that was pretty good. That, she's like, real close, close enough. Okay. And so, so it, but it did, you know, she saw hers and it had the word red in the license plate. So it was, it was kind of funny the way that manifests, but yes, you can do things like that, believe it or not. And that is something you could kind of practice, practice with manifestation, you know, to kind of get a feel for it, you know, kind of, you know, just like, okay, I've got, yeah, am I going to get that green turn light arrow so I can turn without having to go against all the traffic work on that. I know you do it. I know some of you have done it. I know I do it all the time. Or say you go into the parking lot of the grocery store, try to manifest a closer parking space. You know, you'll be kind of driving. All of a sudden, someone pulls out, okay? And then you get a closer parking spot. Just we'll try to manifest, you know, things like that. Or say you're scrolling Facebook and, and you want to see, um, let's see, I want to try to manifest um, seeing a tiger, you know, and, and see, you know, after, you don't just get, of course, you know, don't eight hours later, there's a tiger, you know, but just maybe, set, you know, within an hour at least, you know, kind of get a, <laughs> and everything, whoops, there's my tiger, you know, whatever it may be, you know, just kind of play around with manifesting and then, and then start going bigger, you know, start going bigger for things that you want to do, but just, just be careful with that. But yes, us spiritualists, you know, there, there are so many things we're trying to let go of attachments. So obviously, you know, if we're trying to manifest things that aren't necessarily healthy for the spirit, you know, and things are attachment to things like, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, what Prada, you know, thousand <laughs> dollar shoes. What is this? You know, this is this isn't stuff that's going to help our spirit and stuff. It, it might be like, oh, that's really cute. But, you know, it's not going to help our spirit. You know, it, it's just not going to do that. So we want to be kind of realistic and we want to be careful and, and stuff like that. You know, though I do wonder on Prime Day if I might have manifested something. I, I'm not saying, I don't know, I don't know. Except, but I do have this this one clothing, you guys. And thank you, I, I get compliments on my clothes sometimes. But there's this one clothing brand I really, really like. And, um, you know, and one of the things I, I've been kind of sitting there, you know, and, and a lot of times I'll look at their site. Do they have anything new, this, that? And I've been, you know, really wanting a sale, a sale, you know, and stuff. You know, I know I, I, I'm not buying anything unless it goes on sale. I, w I wish they'd have a good sale, you know, stuff like that. You know, kind of setting, you know, you know, kind of energy. But Prime Day, I, I went on about midnight and I was kind of looking. I'm like, I'm going to see because they, they do, um, they have their own website, but sometimes they put stuff on Amazon. And I don't know what happened, but um, they had a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the clothing brand had a whole bunch of stuff 
on Amazon and it was only for maybe a couple hours or something like that throughout the day. And their stuff was marked down so incredibly low that I, I couldn't believe it. I, I just went click, 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 click. I got so much stuff. And I was like, what is happening? So I'm done buying clothes for a very long time. And so, but stuff was like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars that I got. I, I could not believe I never seen their prices that low. And and I'm like, uh, I better get this stuff real real quick before this price changes and stuff. So I was so excited, happy. So I kind of wondered, did I manifest that? Because how did that happen? No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm sure they put a sale, but but it was kind of bizarre because one of the things I've been wanting, you know, is is that maybe you like to have a, a good sale and stuff. And then Prime Day, I I mean, I got some cute stuff, even for a dollar. And it oh, I, I mean, outfits that, you know, some of their outfits are maybe like a hundred or some odd dollars for $4. It was the most insane thing I've ever seen. And so, so I'm done with, with, uh, buy their clothes for a while. I hooked up so well. And so, but just kind of do that. Just practice various ways, setting intentions, you know, even if you want to kind of write things out, if you have a notebook and everything. Oh, I, I almost forgot before I go. Um, another thing is is big that I, I really try to teach uh, people, especially I, I get the Oracle cards all the time because um, Spirit likes to talk about it, is don't forget, you know, obviously thanking, like I said, thank you for what to receive, but don't forget gratitude. Gratitude is a very big thing um, to, to do. Don't forget to thank Source Spirit for that which you receive. And also even for that which you presently have. So just kind of like say, okay, maybe you're struggling. Maybe things have not been easy. You know, maybe you're living paycheck to paycheck and it's been, but they just sit there and kind of be like, you know, but what do I have that I can be thankful for? It is a little glass half empty versus um, glass half full, you know, but when you kind of sit there and realize what you have, you can realize just how abundant you are and just how much spirit is providing. And I, I know you're working. I know you're getting the check, but spirit is still providing the job and a source to get you that check. Okay. I know the food. I know, I know you bought it and stuff, but source is also provided the food that grows it and everything and gets it to you, all that stuff. Okay. And, and also a lot of people as well. But just whatever it may be, thank you for the food that I have in the fridge. Thank you for the lights that are on. You know, uh, thank you for the Netflix that I can enjoy, you know, whatever, you know, thank you that I could feed my animals, that I could feed my children, not necessarily that order, <laughs> but, you know, whatever, you know, thank you for the running water, the water that I have to drink, thank you for the clothes that I have that I can wear on my, you know, on here, you know, the roof over my head, the, the ability to pay my rent, you know, uh, that my children are healthy, that I have my health, keep going, keep going, don't stop with all you have to be thankful for. If you have love in your life, if you have a good husband, wife, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it may be, if your parents are still alive and they're loving parents and they're here all supporting you, cheering you on, thank for that. Just keep going, keep going, and don't forget to thank Source Spirit and stuff. Thank you. You know, if you made it through COVID without COVID, thank you, you know, whatever it may be. And so don't forget to thank, thank, thank for every little thing you have. Even, even if you've lost things over the years, even if things have been taken away, and so it's still like, okay, I know I'm not going to focus on my losses. I'm going to focus on what I have. And so maybe your relationship didn't work out and you recently had a divorce, but have you been feeling free? You don't have to argue with anyone. You're, you're, you're in a, are you getting to a place of peace? Are you healing, getting better? Are you getting stronger every day? You know, all that focus on what you have and don't forget to say thank you. Because when you show that gratitude to source spirit, that just is going to bring more and more into your life. And stuff, just more to be thankful for. You know, I, I, I really firmly believe that, um, you know, contrary to say to maybe the Christian belief, I, I say a lot of things uh, contrary. Spirit did not create a bunch of humans just to fall down and worship, worship. Okay. You know, just like if you have children, you didn't create them just so they could worship you all day. Same thing, you know, um, just like you, you know, you had your children because, you know, you, you wanted them because you felt that, you know, could just desire. And then here they are and you love them unconditionally, kind of similar thing. But one of the things, you know, it is nice to hear, thank you. 
okay it is nice you know when you're providing when you're feeding them and you see them and they're happy and they're enjoying that meal or say on christmas where they're opening presents and they're so excited and they're like thank you thank you and all that and so you know especially to be appreciated you know i feel that that, that source wants that but to fall down and worship and be like and praise you know and all this you know, it's it, it and everything. You know that that's not necessarily. You know that that they're all big on that. You know, though now I'm sure if I you know cross over on the other side and I'm here, I am right standing for a source. I'm probably going to fall down. You know, of course I am. But you know, at the, at the same time, we we don't want to forget to say thank you. Um, that is a big thing. Another way of saying thank you, though, is not just even thanking source spirit and stuff. Is doing a little bit of source spirit work. You know, help other people. And so, like a lot of times, people are like, "I want all this," and so, but they don't really put at, put out or give to others. Okay, um, one of the ways also even kind of opening, you know, like that those manifestation doors open is to receive is giving to others in certain ways, whatever it may be. And so maybe you can't necessarily do monetary, maybe you can't on stuff, but is there, you know, certain things? Can you give your time, effort, energy in various ways? myself if, if you could do that but you know i will tell you most people could probably do maybe ten dollars here there to a charity they could do that um just like i have a couple of charities i've been donating to for years and just you know it's just something that you know aspca and saint jude's get a little bit of something every month for me and so maybe even kind of look at what what is something i really believe in some kind of charity even just just twenty dollars a month go to a charity and stuff that also creates an energy you know now you've got a giving energy and stuff and you're naturally going to receive anyway now i'm not saying you necessarily give to receive I'm just saying, though, that it's just, it's going to create an energy you will. It just happens. That's the way it is. So kind of look at areas. Is there anyone that I can give to? Because that will create an energy and stuff, you know, because, you know, it, it's just the way it is. There's something about the flow. And say you see someone, maybe, maybe they're one of your friends on Facebook and they're really struggling. Give them a little something. You know, don't be shy. Give them a little something and stuff. Do you really need that $10? And stuff, you know, so I see that's why, you know, I know the church is always like, give me money. <laughs> so, you know, I, I look at it this way. It's like I would rather, you know, put any kind of, you know, you know, money or funding towards someone who really needs it and stuff, you know, because, you know, but God does not need the money. <laughs> And, the, and I know in, in certain churches that are good churches, I would be okay tithing with. But like those televangelists that got jets and all this that are trying to get people apart with money should be ashamed of themselves. But yes, either way, I don't, I don't want to go on a rant about them. I know, I know. But if there's, you know, any like a charity you believe in, you know, some kind of cause that you would like to put a little something toward, you know, just even if you got 20 bucks a month to spare. I self, you don't give that. It, it, I'm telling you, it's going to return anyway. It always does. It always comes back anyway. Okay, so kind of think of that. That's the way, you know, that, that is one of the kind of laws of return. I self, what you get, you know, put forward, you're going to receive anyway. I self, so you will. I self, but like I said, we don't give just to receive and everything. We, we should be charitable. We should be helping others, you know, each other and so forth. So I hope this gives you, oh, I hit about an hour. I hope this gives you guys um, a little bit of ideas about manifestation. I know it's a very simple, simple thing, but just what your focus is and just really know what you're really asking for and what you really want it's, and, and everything like, you know, um, because when people are focusing on dollars, dollars, that that's not the right energy. That's not the right alignment, but really, you know, what do I really want? You know, what am, and what do I really want to bring in, you know, and manifest and, and everything? We, we want to really focus on that. Once you kind of got that and you understand that now I get in alignment and now I set my intention. Okay, then I'm going to voice it, you know, source, spirit, universe, higher self, however you want to do it. You know, say the right words because the way we say it, as above, so below, so within, so without. The way we say it is very, very important. Okay, because we don't want to speak it wrong. We don't want to come from a place of lack. Don't forget to thank for that which you're about to receive in advance. And of course, don't forget each day, each day, at least for one thing, thank the Spirit for something that you already do have. Continue that gratitude. That is going to make huge, huge difference in your life. I do hope this helps.